Hi everyone, this is Mr. Manthe coming back with another video art lesson for you. I'm looking at the art projects for week number five and we're going to be going over project number two for my kindergartners, first graders, and second graders. The project description is, if you've ever balled up a paper and then tried to flatten it out, you'll notice that not all the wrinkles go away. As much as you try, you can't get it back to completely smooth, and so you've changed the texture of your paper. If you ball up your paper, then flatten it out four or even five times, it will start to resemble the rough surface of a cave wall. For this assignment, look at some examples of cave drawings and make one of your own. When you're done, ball up your paper and flatten it out until it begins to look like a cave wall. So. What we have here is we have a project that is going to work with our textures. Now, I have an example here of a smooth paper. It's flat. Okay, it has never been folded up. And then a rough, kind of not smooth paper that has been balled up and flattened out. So this is a change in our texture, which is one of our elements of art. So now, what we're going to do is we are going to start off by making our cave drawing. Now, what I like to think about is when I looked at cave drawings, I saw a lot of people hunting and gathering and cooking food that kind of described activities they did throughout their day. Now, one activity that I really like doing, even though I can't do it right now, is I like to play basketball. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to set out with my crayon, and I'm going to make a cave drawing of basketball. So now, I'm going to start with the main person in basketball is the person shooting the basketball. If no one shoots, no one scores. If no one scores, you're not really playing a basketball game. So I've got my arms up, and you see I'm keeping my figure, my human, pretty simple, almost like a stick figure. And that's because when I looked at my cave drawings and my cave paintings, I noticed that the people didn't have a lot of details. They were pretty simple. So I'm going to have one person taking a shot. Maybe another person will be coming up to try to block the shot. All right, so now I got my person trying to block the shot. And then we'll have maybe one other teammate here that's like ready to get the alley-oop, ready to slam dunk it if it comes over his way. So he's jumping high in the sky. He's got his legs bent. And he's got his arms up like I'm ready for it. All right. And then we need to know where they're shooting. So I'll include a basket. Again, keeping everything simple. I'm not going to do all the details of the net or the backboard. I'm going to keep everything simple and I'm just going to add some basic lines to show you kind of where the ground is and maybe some here. So we have some basic idea of where our ground is and then where our sky is. So my lines will be wavy up in the sky because that'll be like the wind. All right. Now, a neat trick you can do is if you take a crayon and you peel off the paper, you can actually use the side of your crayon to cover a large amount of area. So when we think about the color of a cave wall, it's usually brown or gray. So I'm going to take my brown. I've got the paper peeled off of it. I'm going to put it on its side and I'm just going to move it up and down. And now, instead of a thick fold line that a crayon usually leaves, it leaves a lighter texture that looks closer to the rockiness of a cave wall. All right? So you get it nice and filled up, and you see that didn't take really any time at all since so much more of the crayon is touching the paper. And now if I can zoom in, I can show you that that brown, instead of being even and thick like you see over here with the pink, the brown is more scattered and thin, okay? It has a more implied 
texture of a cave wall. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to take our paper, we're going to tear it. I'm going to peel this off. You might not have this on yours, but I'm going to peel that off. And we're going to ball it up. And we're going to unball it up. And even after the first time, you'll see it starts to get a little bit wrinkly. It starts to look a little bit closer to a rocky cave wall. We're going to keep doing that over and over again. And just to save you some time, I'm going to bring back my demonstration one. I'm going to flip it over. I'm going to show you my cave drawing. All right. So, I want you to go ahead and give this a try. You don't have to draw people playing basketball. It could be something that you like doing on your own. What's important though is that you look at the style of the cave drawings and also that you notice that as artists we don't always have to work on flat smooth surfaces that we can change the, the feel, the texture of our surfaces. So instead of smooth and flat, one example is that this is rough. Okay, Some artists work with stone and that's even harder. Some artists work with glass and that can be smooth. Some artists work with videos, and that's entirely different, where it's something that you can't feel. Some artists work with fabrics. It's all over the place. So don't think that in your art you just always need to work on paper. All right, guys. I hope you have fun with this.